What is up everybody, Kadaz here. Welcome back to Bannerlord Online, where we're jumping straight into a big battle against 56 Forest Bandits. And you're probably thinking, what the heck has happened? You are different looking. You got a horse, lots of crossbowmen, weapons, and uh, yeah. I will explain in due time. First, let me go get killed because these guys are snipers in this mod but uh basically what happened was i figured let's get this thing a moving and i joined a clan uh, i think it's house crassus they're like an offshoot of this like bigger clan uh the roman empire and there is a lot of us in here and they helped me out a lot they gave me the spear, this armor, um, harpoons, and they gave me like a little mission, basically. And the mission was to level up my trading, to level, uh, what was it? I think I needed to get to 40 so I can get um, three mules without having any, Ooh, that's a lot of experience. Let's see, what do we got? Anything that I want? Probably not. Throw these boots on, I guess. Doesn't really matter, I don't think. Okay, let's get out of there. Bang! Um, let's see, let me find it. So trading up to here so I can get three pack animals without any speed penalty because these three mules let me carry 200 like inventory slots, I guess is, I don't know what you'd call it exactly. And then the way to do that is you take this cargo that I have here and you just go back and forth to two cities that are close by. And I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Gallant. I was chasing those forest bandits because I wanted a big battle to start the episode. And then they wanted me to also get 50 Valandian sharpshooters and then they would um, from there I'm slow as molasses without my men get unwounded sirs and from there they would uh, take me to I think they said the Frostlands which I'm assuming is somewhere up here maybe somewhere up here I don't know exactly where but they said they'd take me up there and show me some PvP Basically, once I got 50 troops, 50 Valandian sharpshooters. And along the way, I've gotten two um, companions. I think I, I don't know how many you can have. But this one has perks to choose from. I don't know if I'm going to, like, specialize. And this guy is, like, it's, like, he has a choice between, I think it's cav and uh, infantry mortality, like, rate decreasing. And I don't know if I'm going to be either of those. I'm definitely going to wait to see what I prefer. So I figured I'd hold on to that. Because I don't really know what I want to do. And then Dermont, he doesn't have any levels. But I'll keep him around for now. I don't really see an issue with having him. Other than he might be a little expensive. But how expensive is he? He's 100 dinars a day. So a little expensive. But he's kind of cool. He's my first... Uh, first homie I've gotten so kind of want to keep them. so this is what I've been doing I've been going into town going to the trader um, hiring levy crossbowmen when I have a spot for one coming up to him having him take my load and then buying more cargo from him so I'm a gallon, so I'm going back to Jacqueline. Uh, 50, sounds good. And then the top one is how much it costs. The bottom one is how much profit you will make when you bring it. So obviously you want as much as you can. And then also your weight. So I can basically take all of it, except for a little bit. Hold on. Let me do some quick maths. Man's not hot. Okay, that should be good. 
So, and then if you look at my normal armor, so they gave me like this nice level six uh, chest piece, uh, some boots, and a nice plumed helmet with a manavalin and harpoons, a uh, fast horse with a with a uh, saddle, which are very expensive. Oh, well, I mean, maybe not very expensive, but for a new person, it's very expensive. And then I gave Dermot, I found a hunting bow and some barbed arrows, which I might eventually take back. And I think I'm going to do that now, actually. Where is Dermot? I want to start leveling some of this up. Um, I want to level a little bit of it up. Here, you can take these back. Just open up space. Because I've been leveling up pretty good. I'm holding onto these points because I, I think the strat is once you hit this learning limit, you just put the point in. I'm not, don't quote me on that. I don't know. But that's what that's what I feel like is the best way to do things. Uh, I'm trying to get lead. Basically, the plan right now is I got the trading. I think I'm good. I don't think I really care about this too much more. I've gotten the three uh, pack uh, animals without being having a speed penalty. Uh, now the leadership I just need to get up to. I don't know exactly where I need to get up to. I just need to get to the point where I can have 50 sharpshooters. And then they also wanted me to get, I think, 100 pole arm. I think that was in, like, a lot of riding. Because the pole arm and the riding apparently is the meta right now. Most people are running around with... Uh, this and on a horse and then they just trade so yeah let's keep going I'll, I'll do a couple more runs just to show you what i've been doing and then i can do some other stuff so yeah let me show the clan so this is like the clan here this is all the people in it right now but we're also allies with all these these are basically all um <laughs> These are all basically the the Roman Empire. This this one is the main one, I think. So yeah, he's pretty beefy. So yeah, 42 trade. 200 leadership. So yeah, I think he's the leader. But yeah, so let's come and fight some looters. Do those looters, like, collide and make a super looter party? The super looters? That's interesting. So let's get in there. I want to shoot some arrows. And now we're just trying to level up our levy crosswomen. And then the other guy, you know, just keep going to the sharpshooters. We're almost, you know, we could have some sharpshooters, but I don't want to waste experience. We just join the defense. I don't really mind that. Just poke around, just just to get level ups. To be honest, I don't really need bow experience, but level ups are good, right? And it seems like just getting level ups in anything is good. You kind of want to be get a little bit of everything so you can keep getting your attribute points. I do need to get some pole arms, so maybe the next fight I'll run around, run around with my pole arm. How many more people joined? 26 more? Alright. We take those. Honestly, I like it. Faster for me. I don't have to worry about going to find more people. Hopefully my Levy Crosswoman can get some kills. I, I made a mistake of leveling everyone up. I should have kept them all at Levy Crosswoman. I, even if... Even if I, like, was maxed out on troops, I should have just kept them all at Levy Crosswomen until I had 50 Levy Crosswomen. Or maybe even more. And then leveled them up that way. It's gonna be hard to... Oh my god, he beat the crap out of my horse. It's gonna be very hard to, uh... Get the Levy Crosswomen kills right now, to be honest with you. Yeah, see, they didn't get a single kill. So, a mistake, but... Whatever. We'll be fine. Um, I'll grab a hatchet. And that. And that. 
And that. Sell it at the, uh, at Jacqueline. Jacqueline. So yeah, so like basically, I mean, if you look every point, you know, get some of this. So, I mean, why not get a few extra points there? Like every SP, I think it's SP, SP skill point. I think that's what they are. So yeah, like every SP gets like a bunch of, yeah, you need like a bunch now. So I need 32. So I don't know. It seems like getting a few of these for free. Doesn't seem like a bad idea to me. Okay, so let's try to fight these looters. I'm a little bit worried about all th all this. I don't want that many sea raiders jumping me. There's a lot of people around. Oh, I don't want all of it. I will fight these forest bandits though. I think I think we'll be fine. I think my crosswomen have better range, basically. Wow, Jesus. Hoping to uh, get some hits in here. Maybe I'll just do some pokies. Ow, ow. Okay, we're not, we're not. Chill, chill, chill. Those men are not hitting at all, huh? Here we go, loose. Forrest Spinna got one of our guys. I got two of them. Boys! Don't lose, don't lose, please, don't lose. I can't hit a damn thing. Holy hell. They're gonna, we're gonna win, but this was very brutal. I'm gonna be slow as molasses coming out here. I gotta be careful. Man, took some losses. Took some heavy, heavy losses. How is this guy getting whacked? Get me out of here. All right, let's go, boys. Oh lord. Um. I do want that hunting bow. Okay. Oh, run, 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 run. Holy. My men are blasted. Let's get back in here. <laughs> well, I guess now we will level up some some healing. At least it's nighttime, so I don't really want to battle anymore, anyways. Is a levy crossbow? Oh, that's it. That's a recruit. I'm really at the point where I don't want to level up recruits. They're too hard to get levels. They're not going to get any kills. They're just going to run out and die. So let's come to the trader. Have him take the load. And just keep going, really. Um, at this point, I don't know if I need to keep trading. I think I should really just be hunting looter parties from here on out. I think I have enough trading. But, you know, let's get to around 50. Why not? Why not get to around 50? Galand. 20 here. 140 there. I think we'll chill it that much. And then where is the yeah! artisan? There he is. Sell some of my garbage. Get it out of here. 
get my 36 dinars. <laughs> um, let's find... How many people can I get? Five Levy Crosswomen. Oh, that might have been one. Are you Levy? I can't tell. Nope, recruit. Who are you? You're the owner of the stable. You can you can keep doing that, buddy. Levy Crosswomen. There we go. Let's keep looking. Maybe the game plan should also be something like, can I, if I were to say, make them formation three, maybe I should do something like that. Okay, I, I got the idea, I get the plan now. And then back the other guys up kind of thing, fight, fight smaller parties. Once I get like six levy crosswomen. So I got a plan now, at least. I kind of want the night time to end, though. But it takes a little bit, because they, they kind of like slowed everything down. Do, do, do. No, I'm not seeing any more, so let's get out of here. Let's just start heading over back to... Uh, Galen, there it is. I think I should heal up a little bit on the, along the way. So yeah, this is what I've been doing. I'm hoping that I can get some good PvP content soon as well. I think I'm almost ready for it. I mean, not really, but as well as I'm going to be. There's a lot of grinding. So yeah, I'm also not sure if like putting more points makes it level up faster I don't think it does the game's not saying anything about it so if it does do that it's not very intuitive that it that it does but you never know with these kind of games it's a it's a work in progress <laughs> to say the least but it's really fun it's really it's a little bit grindy because I don't think they have a ton of stuff implemented yet but they are definitely working on it. Uh, I don't know how many it is. I think it's just like a few people. And it's basically its own game Like at this point. It's literally like... They've taken the bones of Baron Lord and made their own game with it. Which is pretty cool. Um, any levy? A crossbowman. That looks like a footman. Those look like a recruits, I think. It's hard to see... In the dark, anyways. There's a trader. I'll loop back around to him in a second. Uh huh. Okay, nothing here either, it seems. I mean, I think there's definitely more places I can go look. But I'm not interested in going to every nook and cranny. Take the load. Yeah, so this is what I've been doing for like, I don't know, like almost an hour and a half, two hours of this. It's not too bad though. It's kind of, it's kind of chill. Just going around beating up bandits, swiping them with your pole arm, and then making money slowly but surely. I don't think this is the fastest way to make money. I think it's a decent way to make some money if you like keep your party like cheap. But I don't know if this is like the way to make money. It seems like if you're like dirt poor, they tell you to cut down trees. Um, I find that a little slow, but if you can get a good, like, camp spot for the boars if, and, like, can hit your shots, I feel like that's pretty quick, but I don't know. Because there was, like, one point 
when I wasn't recording that I was just like sniping the boys and I was like right next to where you drop them off so it's like snipe all five right next to the right next to each other run over there grab them and put it in go to the warehouse put them in and like I'd made like thousands of dinars quick but everyone seems to say cut down trees that's the fastest way so I don't know <laughs> And I'm definitely not going to be claiming to be the expert, so I'm, I'm not doubting it. So let's head back into town. I'm trying to, I'm just kind of waiting until daytime again to battle. I don't want to do too many night battles. To be honest with you. And also I'm healing up, so we got that going for me. Slowly but surely. That's the good thing about taking damage is I am getting uh, medicine like experience as well from getting my ass beat because I suck. <laughs> so there is that. There is positives in taking damage. Um, I'm going to just take this much because I... I think I'm going to try to fight soon. So I'm going to head over here, cut down a couple trees just to show you what it is for people that haven't played the game. Here real quick, I'll cut down like two trees. And then hopefully by the time I get out of there, I start walking this way and then it's daytime I can go fight more bandits. That's the goal here. So yeah. Just come in, go to village. You go talk to the headman. Looking for the work, agree. And then you go to a felling plot. Um, this one's the closest, so I'll just go to it. Chicka 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 chicka. And then you grab an axe off this log and then you come over and hit the trees with the white X's on them they have to have these X's to be able to hit them I'm pretty sure yeah, I don't think that does anything so you have to hit them right in, right there you get like a little bit of money every time you hit it looks like 11 per smack And then eventually the tree will fall down and you get a little bit of money for that okay and then you pick up these wood piles three at a time and slowly jog them on over here to the warehouse Boop. and 570 Denarius right away. So, I mean, not that exciting, but you can definitely get money quick. Might not be a bad idea, like, if you're just walking by and you, you're just starting off, walking by a village like this, getting some of the, the trees closer to a fell pile. You could probably get decent money pretty pretty quick the uh one of these fell plots where where there's like some of the trees that are right next to it that are spawned still but yeah that's basically it i'll go collect my dinars and get the hell out of here i don't i think i don't know if you've seen mining yet i can't remember what i showed in the last video so that might be the only one that you haven't seen yet so now you leave and now it's morning, so we can start looking for fights again. Exciting, and I'm 99%. All right, yeah, we're back, we're back, we're so back. Some peace agreements. These little pesky forest bandits. Oh, see, this is where you can find, see, he's got a, uh, let's go try to get him. He's got a companion that you can grab if you kill this party. 
So I don't know how many companions I want. Oh my god, 30 serious is this? I would like probably lose this fight. Hold on. <laughs> I don't know if I can win that. I mean, I could win it, but I think I'm all set. I don't think I want to risk that. I don't really want to take too many losses right now. I'm kind of rolling. We're kind of rolling right now. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. A. That's my man right there. Thank you, Kendall. So let's get my levy crosswoman a little bit further out. They're a little bit closer. They might have a better chance of getting kills. And even, like, bring my homies back a little bit. Someone's removing inactives from the guild. Ooh. Okay, they did get a couple kills, so it did work. You like that? Holy hell. Ah! Okay. Just transferred influence to the guild. <laughs> I don't even know how you do that. So this forest bandit group is still here. I think I can kind of split them. No, they immediately run towards th that big sea raider party. Now let's go to these sea raiders. Might as well. Get my C Raider on. Even if it's just six, at least uh, if my levy cross them and kill them, should be a lot of experience. Uh, maybe I can even like send them like this up here. Jesus Christ. Uh, Alright, and we win. There you go, this ain't one of them. It's okay though. And then you get out of there. Looks like some drama. Oh, definitely some drama in the chat. Hello. That's the MMO. The fun parts, you know? A little bit of drama. look like less some levies. Hire both of you. Get out there, sons. Some wars being declared. Let's see here. Let's see here. Whoa. Yeah, there must be some, like, Patreon stuff. Back to backstone and troops. Let's find the charreta. Actually, let's find the artisan first so I can sell the junk because so I know exactly how much I'm working with. Yeah. Just, just 
to get a little bit of money. And I don't really feel like just putting up to auction. It takes way too long. And kind of is glitchy. There was some times where I couldn't even put up for auction. It just wouldn't, wouldn't let me. So, take the load. And you have cargo that should be delivered. Let's go back to Jacqueline. Bang. Bang. I think once again I'm going to save the space. Because I think I can get more than 300 dinars of loot by the time I get to Jacqueline. So I want to do, now that it's day, I want to do one more kind of big battle. And then we can end the video there. Just uh, this is just like a quick update of what I've been doing. I've become a trade caravan essentially, and then hopefully the next episode is me doing actual crazy fun content. But we'll see. We shall see. Thirty sea raiders. Ooh. Sounds kind of spicy. Should I go for it? Yeah, let's go for the 30 Sea Raiders. 44 sounds a little too crazy. Let's go 30 and then call it a day. See how it goes. If I can get these guys. Maybe up on this hill. Maybe that'll help them out. Hopefully they can have a better angle. And then we'll go and throw some jabs at some people. Oh. Oh no. Oh, get a move on. I'm also trying to get them to kind of turn and look at me a little bit. Of slices so far so good to be honest get them out of their throne that guy was getting a little too close for my comfort oh this kind of went pretty good oh that went very well for me not too shabby and a level up on one of the levy cross women very good very good boys not too shabby. All right, let's get to Jacqueline. It kind of makes me want to try this now. That went so well. I want to ruin it by going after these 44 Sea Raiders. What do you think, boys? What do you think? Look at all these Sea Raiders. Holy. We got a Sea Raider chief in there. Fight me. Okay, let's do it. Once again, I'm gonna kinda flank out these guys a little bit. Hopefully they can get some cleaner shots. Is the idea. Not like, you know, not shooting right into these shields. And then we, Hopefully can do some distracting again. You gotta keep moving or I am going to get absolutely wallops. Get some, pick some of these guys off. Getting into fist fights, that's not what we need. We need you boys to fire your crossbows. Oh my god, they're just going ham. They just keep moving forward. Boys! Boys! Alright. That went very well too, actually. 
the gear, not so much. Who take those? All right. Now that I've kind of cleared them out, now I can kind of... Oh, wait. Why are they right there now? You pieces. Now they're all just camping together. All right. We're going to end... Ooh. 32 looters. Sounds pretty juicy. No, no, no. Let's end it on eye. Let's end it on eye. <laughs> Get to Jackal and sell the loot. Sell the cargo. End it there. We're already 35 minutes in. But yeah, so this is this is Bane and Lord Online. It's pretty cool. I mean, obviously, I'm just scratching the surface. I don't know how deep the game is, so I don't know how much more I can scratch. But what I've seen so far is pretty fun. Hire this man. I can hire one more too. Nice. I've raised my my max up. That's what we like to see. Look at all those guys. Take the load. Oh, I got up to 52. Oh, look at that. This is the perfect way to end it. Look at these guys. Holy. If you need some spearmen to start. Oh, there you go. You're ready to go. That's not a bad little group to start with, to be honest with you. Lenin. There we go. Levy Crosswoman. Yeah. So I could, in theory, have... 16 sharpshooters but i don't know i don't want to pay their wages at the moment either is the problem <laughs> so i think i'm honestly going to keep them all at the hardened crossbow until i'm ready to actually like go out even though like the the wages is actually not that big of a deal because a day is very long it's not too bad. I can make up these wages pretty quickly, but I don't know about 50. So it, it might be a lot different when it's 50. You know? 50 sharpshooters. So what's the wages of one of these guys? 57, I imagine. It's been going up pretty... So it's probably near... Well, probably over 100, at least. Close to 200, maybe. I don't know exactly. So, yeah, that's... <laughs> that's a hunkin' change. That's a lot more than what I'm paying right now. But, uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this uh, little, sn little sneak peek of what I've been doing. And getting ready to go out and actually do the PvP. Or even PvE, like co-op PvE. I don't know, something. Something different than this. Uh, but thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. See y'all next one where it should be more spicy. Peace.